Hello friends, welcome back to the new video of Material UI. So today we are going to learn about the data grid and in data grid how we are going to add the patterns. So let's have a look what is data grid. So you can see that there is a data grid, a fast and extendable React data table, React data grid. It's a feature rich component with, available with the commercial versions or MIT, right? So you can see that if simply what they have done is basically they have import the data grid, then they have the columns and they have this rows and after this they have the data grid which there they are passing rows columns space size rows per option checkbox selection and disable okay so these they are sending right so you can see that we have also do the same one okay so we uh, but here the thing is that we have to uh, add the buttons also like this one you can see that i have added the buttons like print button you can add the link button okay so on the, on the behalf of it, you can do the action perform. You can perform the actions like print. You can create a API and hit that API on the print options. So how we are going to add such kind of things, how to add the buttons on the data grid. So basically data grid uh, here, you can see that. <coughs> you can see that there is one, one cell click. We have one row click. We have a checkbox selection. Then we have, you can see that for the link, we have added the div style text align on center. There is a href. So you can see that uh, there is a link, okay? So you can see that there is a link and you can see that here in the field route, okay? So for the, there is a first name, then there is a field uh, last name, then there is a field print. So what we have done, we have used render cell, then cell values and re what we are returning? A button with the print option and on click event, we have handled the click event and we will getting the value and do some action over it. Then we have one again, then we have a render the cell with the return link and whatever we have in the columns, you can see that we have already passed the columns over here and you can see that the button is added over here like this. So whenever you want to add the buttons, you need to just pass over it to the columns and return and on the event or on click, you can handle the change and do whatever action that you want to perform with that button. Okay, so this is how we can use the data grid and how to add the buttons in it. You can do with this 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 way. Okay, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Any query in that, just let me know because there, there is only we are adding the buttons and the link in the data grid. And the rest of the tutorial, rest of the uh, like the full fledged thing is uh, you will get it from here. So only I have just modified this one. We have added the field over here. Okay, and um, field and according to it we have shows the button accordingly okay so that's it for now thank you so much for watching this video have a great day